Yeah, I think I got a nibble. Let's just check it, might as well. Let me just take the bell off. It's either a fish or seaweed. Okay, feels kind of heavy. It might be seaweed heavy, actually. Nope, there we go. Well, I dropped one. That's okay, that goes straight into the water. That's so weird, they didn't do anything. They just kind of sat here. Well, we still got one to show. All right, finally caught something right after that sea star. This guy's super small. I'm thinking it's a baby Hallie. Look at that sharp teeth. You never want to lip these guys. It's going to really hurt. All right, back you go, mister. Thanks for playing. I also didn't know halibuts go for shrimp or maybe the small ones do. Not sure, but that's okay. It was kind of odd though. I cannot catch a break. Why are they taking my bells? Get out of here, Mr. Beach Chicken. This is why you always gotta make sure all your bay is secured because they can and will take all of it. Okay, I seriously gotta put the bells away because that's the second time that has happened. I just need for him to drop it first. Come on. Drop it. There he goes. Just trying to fish. This isn't even food. What? Okay, I have caught a sea star. Well, all right then. It's probably why nothing was going for it. All my bait's gone. Let's just unhook you really quick without hurting you too much. Okay, there we go. All right, back to go, Mr. Sea Star. Thanks for playing, I guess. At least it was nice to catch something. Been fishing for like two hours. Yeah, I think I got a nibble. Let's just check it, might as well. Let me just take the bell off. It's either a fish or seaweed. Okay, feels kind of heavy. It might be seaweed heavy, actually. Nope, there we go. Well, I dropped one. That's okay, that goes straight into the water. That's so weird, they didn't do anything. They just kind of sat here. Well, we still got one to show. All right, finally caught something right after that sea star. Lost one, but that's okay, not a big deal. This guy's super small. I'm thinking it's a baby Hallie. Look at that sharp teeth. You never want to lip these guys. It's gonna really hurt. All right, back you go, mister. Thanks for playing. What's up, anglers and anglets? It's your boy Sven, and welcome back to my channel. So for today, Amber and I are doing some, I guess, technically jetty fishing, but not, over at Corona Del Mar. Just a nice, chill, relaxing day. The weather is super beautiful, very fishable, at least in my opinion, but I haven't caught anything for at least two hours, but that's okay. Let's just see what else we can catch. I also didn't know halibuts go for shrimp or maybe the small ones do. Not sure, but that's okay. It was kind of odd though. And now we just go back to waiting. On the bright side, at least now I know there's halibut over here. Didn't expect them to eat and just sit. It's a very sea pancake move they just did. Today's also gonna be a pretty chill video. It's just honestly nice to be out here and get some fresh air and listen to the waves. One thing that I'm not seeing is surf perch, which I feel like this place would be very good for surf perch. It's nice and calm. It's very sandy on the bottom. Yeah, that would explain why it's nice for halibut. I keep seeing both of these rods sway without actually dinking the bell. So might as well just check them. Let's check on good old green bean first. This one's Amber's rod. 
This is the one she actually picked up in Texas. Okay, feels a little heavy. Maybe there's a fish. Yep, there it is. Hey, it's a sea pancake. Oh no, it's stuck. There we go. Sorry, Mr. Sea Pancake. Didn't mean to take you on the ride, but let's get you off. These guys are very easy to catch. When you're handling them though, just watch out for the strike zone. They got a stinger on their tail, and if they poke you, it's gonna hurt. Thanks for playing, Mr. Sea Pancake. Back you go. All right, now we've caught four things. Four fish within at least 30 minutes, I think. Nah, it doesn't really feel heavy. Did lose a good chunk of bait though. Something might have nibbled it. When you're bait and weight fishing or fishing with multiple rods, always good to have some bells. So it can alert you when a fish is biting if you're not paying attention. Very handy. Oh, well, think I got something. Yep, that's something. Oh yeah, something's on. Oh, I forgot to take the bell off. Looks like another sea pancake. Another dinky sea pancake. Mr. Sea Pancake Boy. Always fun to catch these guys. I really like catching them. Not a lot of people do because they want to go for different fish, but it's like, come on. They're still pretty cool. All right, back to go, Mr. Sea Pancake. Oh man, that's a lot of seaweed. Oh, there we go. That's a good one. That's a good one. This one actually triggered the bell. Nice, it's a yellowfin croaker. This guy's a yellowfin croaker. They're very common in these areas. He's a good size one too. Let's freaking go. Hey, this one's actually 11 inches too. Very nice. That's a good yellowfin croaker. A nice yellowfin croaker. Let's let you on back though. I don't feel like keeping anything today. Thanks for playing, Mr. Yellowfin. So for those of you who are familiar with the spot, I actually haven't fished here for a while, but all these rocks are new. It used to be just a tiny rock layer down here, and now there's actually rocks all along this wall, which in turn makes this place a little bit more fishing friendly. But I can just find a whole bunch of natural rod holders to anchor my stuff. Well, the sun's all the way down. It's been out here for a while. I think maybe I got something. It feels pretty heavy, actually. Could be another sea pancake. Let's see. Nice, it is a sea pancake. Yeah, like these guys, they just kind of eat and sit. You never know. Let's get this guy off. Like I said, you gotta be extra careful when you're handling stingrays. It helps to step on their tail so they can't thrash you. And then just take the hook out. Easy peasy. Come on, Mr. Sea Pancake. Thanks for playing, Mr. Sea Pancake. Gonna check this one too. Ooh, also feels kind of heavy. Hopefully not kelp heavy. Another Sea Pancake. Wow, he's super tiny. I think he went for both baits, actually. Man, this guy was hungry. What is this? A sea pancake for ants? Back you go, tiny sea pancake. Looks like the bite also started picking up now since the sun's down. Kind of reminds me of fishing in Monterey. Except it's not rockfish, it's just more sea pancakes. Ooh, I think I got a big one again. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's a really nice one. Yeah, that's a pretty big sea pancake. Back to back. Little fun fact about sea pancakes, their stinger right here, you could snap the stinger off. It will grow back. I would only do that as an absolute emergency because I don't want to leave them defenseless when we throw them back. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. I just casted this out too. Shrimp. Let's see what it is. This one's fighting really nice. Oh yeah, that's a really nice one. Look how big this guy is. A lot bigger than the other one. All right, let's get him off. This guy had a good amount of fight on him. They either eat and sit or they run as soon as you catch them. When they do run though, it is a pretty nice fight. Thanks for playing, Mr. Chunky Sea Pancake. I think there's a lot of bait fish too. I saw a whole bunch of things just jump out. The camera can't pick it up, but that was interesting. Getting some more nibbles. I would also like to formally apologize. I know night videos are not the easiest to watch because you can't really see what's going on. Well, I do try to make it a little easier to watch. We do have some nibbles. I'm going to wait a bit. I think it's on. Yeah, it's on. It's on. I think it's a nice one. Probably another sea pancake based on the nibbling patterns. Never mind, not heavy at all. A little dinky sea pancake. He did fight pretty good though. All right, 
back to go.